Hey guys, Josh Finn here from J&H Aerospace was something kind of special. In 1949, Ray Matthews, a very successful free flighter, designed an airplane called the Fubar X. Looks, uh, sorry, Fubar, not Fubar X. We'll talk about that in a minute. This one does have an X on it. But the Fubar uh, had the stab on the bottom as opposed to on the top here. And it was designed for the then very new 1/2 A free flight power class. Midwest Models kitted that airplane and sold countless numbers of those kits. But with the stab on the bottom, there were a lot of linkages required to actuate the dethermalizer. By 1953, Ray had figured out that putting the stab on the top was probably a better idea. Midwest, however, didn't care to retool to produce an updated version of an existing kit, and so the Fubar X stayed Ray's airplane and faded into obscurity when his career took him all over the world and he didn't have time to fly anymore. The Fubar X re-emerged in 1998 as Ray was getting tooled up to return to the hobby. Ray lived out his final days flying these airplanes down in Florida. And last year his son Jeff contacted me asking if I would like to um, broker the donation of these airplanes, Ray's airplanes, not this one, well, sort of, uh, to National Free Flight Society. So this is a, an authentic Ray Matthews Fubar X built in about 1998. And this one is going to a young man who's getting started in free flight power. But also in the collection, there was an unfinished fuselage for an O20 version of the Fubar X. And that fuselage is this one right here. And we laser cut a kit around it. We also drafted up the fuselage. So this is a FUBAR 29. And today, we're gonna fly it. All right, so this is a BMK radio band burner. So it has an antenna. It does work as a normal band burner standalone, but it also works as a radio band burner. Now we're not gonna fire this on camera because I, I don't wanna go grab more rubber bands right now, but you can run a little 100 milliamp battery and this thing is just a drop in. So the only thing you have to do is cut a spot to put your battery, bolt this thing on and you have a dethermalizer. We're running the dethermalizer back here in standard format and I'll even show you tail pops up like so. We have keys to align it because the fin is on the stab and fin alignment is critical. This is a Texas micro timer. You can also get the timers from Free Flight Supplies in uh, England. We do have a, a couple of these left, I think. Um, and we're running the um, uh, latex fuel tubing uh, and I have a lot of this in stock. We'll be listing this up for sale. Cox TDO 20. Uh, hopefully this one will wake up and run correctly. It's made from parts in a box um, and Cox propeller, which is not necessarily ideal, but uh, we'll start out with that. Okay, so I have not flown this. We'll demonstrate a quick test glide. I've given this some right stab tilt, so hopefully it's going to go kind of to the right. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, gliding kind of straight ahead. All right, Logan's over there yelling more right rudder at us. We'll, uh, we'll hold off on that yet. Um, so the glide looks pretty good. Um, we'll find out if it's circling to the right properly once we, we get it going. Uh, I don't want to change that too much until we find out how much rudder offset we want, because this may or may not want some right rudder. I do have some wash in on this right inner panel, and I've washed out both tips, so that'll help hold up this wing and prevent... Uh, cause the stall to uh, propagate outwards like we want. And so this should go pretty well. So now to wake up the engine. Uh, timer is not even, is locked closed right now because I want to just get the engine to wake up and it may be flooded because I dumped something. And I love how these clips don't work with the O20s. All right, still not working. Let's just do it the hard way. <coughs> hey, that's not bad. All right, well, let's find out. <coughs> Almost. <coughs> that sounded like it was still. 
good we're gonna add a little bit of left rudder because I felt like it was pulling a little hard to the right and uh, so the way I do that is I use Elmer's glue stick the all-purpose not the school glue and this is a piece of 1 16th by uh, 1 32nd and we glue it onto the rudder and this makes it both uh, removable but also fuel proof and so that'll give us a little bit of left rudder and should calm things down. Now the airplane may be a little over elevated. We'll determine that later. Um, but for now, we're gonna run it like this. two very unsightly little shims under the leading edge of the stab um, and that's to prevent the uh, the looping that we saw um, somewhat because it was it's definitely acting over elevated so let's fire this bird up again just in time. Well, I said I was going to let it run longer. Boy, it sure does want to run for the trees. what I'm talking about. Still doesn't want to turn in the glide real well.
All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed seeing this little airplane flying. Uh, Jeff, when you see this, thank you for sharing your dad's estate with the world. And uh, they're going to go on to inspire the next generation of aviators. Uh, for the rest of y'all, kits for the FUBAR 29X are available at jhaerospace.com. You can set them up for free flight or electric or RC. Um, well, I guess uh, free flight can be electric. What I was going to say is free flight uh, electric or glow or radio control electric or glow, if you like. Um, and we'll see you around. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.